All right, what's going on, guys? Willis here, back with another Genshin Impact video. So, we've got some Hu Tao uh, guide video for you guys today. We're going to be showing you her builds, uh, some gameplay of Hu Tao. I've been using it pretty much all day yesterday. Before we jump into today's video, guys, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, turning the bell notifications on so you don't miss a video. Also, slap that like button. It will literally take you one second. Leave a comment down below. And if you guys want a chance at winning 10,000 Primo Gems, enter my monthly giveaway. Uh, by joining my discord discord.gg slash willis and it'll basically give you like a pop-up message and basically click that and you can enter through there so huta we've been pretty much playing it all day yesterday on stream she is a beast now it's not just because i freaking wailed and obviously i got huta and obviously she's using the staff of homer we're gonna give you some free to play options in this video because i know a lot of you guys that are probably watching this video maybe just randomly got huta you're looking for a build for her or you're just looking for what weapon to use, maybe even team compositions. We're going to be doing you guys a super quick video on, yeah, just what I've been using and what's been working. Um, yeah, starting off, let's just go straight into it. Artifacts, four piece, which is of flames. Now, probably her best set. Yeah, probably her best set. Two piece gives you pyro damage, bonus 15%. The four set increases overload and burning damage by 40%. This also increases vaporize and melt damage by 15%. Using an elemental skill will increase this bonus by 50% of its starting value. So this is why this is so insane. So Hu Tao works like this and I'll go more into it in a minute. So right now she's got 1,740 attack. Yeah, not great. Just because her base attack starting 715 really isn't that high. Um, but her power comes from her guide to the afterlife, which is her E ability. So checking this once again real quick. Hu Tao, 1740 attack. Right now, we press her E. Just her E, that's all we're pressing is her E. 3942. Yep, pretty insane. She just literally gains 2000 attack just by pressing her E. And this also infuses your attacks with pyro damage. So yeah. That's where pretty much her damage is coming from. And it's just nuts. So you kind of want to play Hu Tao around her E ability and it basically it being up. Now, by the time you've actually used a full rotation of her E, it's already off cooldown, honestly. You maybe have to wait like five seconds at most to be able to use it again. There we go. Just come off and then we have to wait like three seconds before we can use it again. So we can keep going back and forth and just using it. Jumping into her artifacts, this is what we're going to be using. Or this is what I'm using. Starting off with a flower, I've got a bunch of crit damage, attack, attack, energy recharge, feather, crit rate, crit damage, HP. Look for any HP stats on these items. Trust me. Uh, goblet, you want HP main stat. HP main stat. Not goblet, timepiece. My bad. Uh, we've got HP as well on this. Uh, crit damage, attack. Goblet, pyro damage. Put pyro damage on your goblet. Some people are going with HP, I think. Honestly, go with whatever you want, but I would recommend doing pyro damage. Uh, energy recharge and we've got a fat hp roll here with crit rate defense and then the helmet we've got crit rate hp substat attack uh energy recharge and attack now the more hp you can get on hu Tao, the more powerful she will become i managed to get 36 or even 37k max hp for my hu Tao. i think max you can get before you stop losing damage is around 40k hp so if you go over that you're not really getting any bonuses from her talents now guide to the afterlife will increase her attack based on her max hp at the time of entering the state attack bonus gain this way cannot exceed 400 percent of hu tao's base attack so you can't go over pretty much 40k hp obviously you saw converting your attack damage to pyro when you activate this charge attacks will apply the blood blossom effect the blood blossom pretty much sets enemies on fire that's pretty much what you need to know Auto attacks, yep. Upgrade this as much as you can. Then I would do auto attacks. Then I would do her ultimate ability. Her ultimate ability is basically a burst attack, which heals her as well. Weapons. So obviously, if you have somehow have the Staff of Homer, it's her best weapon. If you somehow have the Primordial Jade uh, Wing Spear, probably the second best weapon. Um, then maybe Skyward Spine. I don't know. Maybe um, Lithic Spear. Really insane. Blackcliff Pole, really insane. Trust me, I'm about to say something stupid here, but this is even more insane. The White Tassel, the three-star blue. If you have this, put it on. Crit rate, base attack. If you really are free to play, put this on. Some of the crafted spears as well are really insane. 
Right now, I have her Constellation Zero. But yeah, I'll leave you guys with some gameplay and uh, some timestamps and stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoyed this really quick uh, hotel uh, video. I'll see you guys uh, over on my live stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Willis Gaming TV. Join the Discord, discord.gg slash Willis. Also, leave a comment on this video. And uh, yeah, I might pick uh, some names for a giveaway and stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace. Thank you. 